Hello, I just dropped all 10 books that I was just holding for my thumbnail. So <sighs> my life is like a fart. And I'm Coral, welcome back to my channel. I think this was started by Mercedes over at, what is her YouTube? Mercy's bookish musings, that's what it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's, at least she's the first person I ever saw do this. Uh, five star prediction thing. So what she does or what she did is she picked out a certain amount of books that she wanted to read in the coming year uh, and there were books that she predicted would be five star reads for her. So I did that at the beginning of the year. I had every intention of reading every single one of them because there were only 10 after all and um, I didn't quite make it. But I read more than I didn't read, so that's good. And um, there were a couple five-star reads in here. This one I haven't technically finished yet. This is The Other by Thomas Tryon. I'm about 100 pages into it, and I can tell you right now, uh, because of the way that the beginning of the book has been so far, I do not think that this is going to be a five-star read for me. And that's not to say that I might not like it, because... I'm interested in what's going to come of these characters, but the bo the beginning has been kind of boring. <laughs> so I don't think it's going to get five stars, even if the ending is super spectacular. So there is the first one. A book that I did not read was <laughs> Weep World by Clive Barker. I thought that this one might be um, a five star read for me because I have read a very small amount of Clive Barker, but I read the first Ararat book, um, gosh, it's been like six years, seven years, and I loved it. So I thought, I think this one's more like fantastical, and I it, like thought maybe I would like this because I liked Ararat so much. So I won't ever know, at least not this year. So here's the one I didn't read. Here is my actual first five star prediction that got five stars. This is Tampa by Alyssa Nutting and this is such a bonkers story. It's about a woman named Celeste who has basically set herself up um, to be able to prey on teenage boys because she is a sexual predator and she grooms these boys and it's really um disgusting and it's it's like one of those books where because you're in the head of this really nasty person you can kind of like logic sort of why they're doing this so it's like, I don't know, it affected me when I when I read it. I think it's a really great book. And if you can get past the premise, I mean, the, this is what this whole book is about. So if you think that you wouldn't like that, definitely stay away from this because this is, it's unabashed. It's like straightforward, very, um, you know, it, there are lots of graphic depictions. She doesn't use like cutesy words for things. And um, it's a great book though, if you can hang with that. And here's a book I didn't read. I don't even know why I thought um, to put this on here because I don't think there was any part of 2019 where I was like, huh, maybe I should crack open House of Leaves. No, it didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> but that being said, I think I might try to read it and vlog reading it in 2020 so I don't know but a book I did read was Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury this was not a five star read for me either but it was in the high four stars like maybe four and a half it just um there was some points in the book where I was like this is kind of a snooze fest right here but I really like uh, I really liked the writing in this. I liked the characters, specifically Charles Holloway. He is just such a 
person who I'd want to be my own dad. Like, can I swap? Can I do swapsies here? Just kidding, my dad's all right. But um, I really love Charles Holloway and I loved Mr. Dark. And yeah, this is um, a movie I grew up, the, the movie interruption of this I grew up watching. It was like one of those movies that I got stuck on when I was a kid, you know? Um, there's like never ending story, I fucking love that. The Labyrinth, The Dark Crystal, Something Wicked This Way Comes, and then like Lion King and Pocahontas, I think. Those were like my fucking movies when I was a kid. And um, so it was really cool to, to see the piece of writing that inspired that movie that was like essential to my childhood. So I really liked it. It just wasn't five stars. The next book I have here is one I did read. By, it's called, <laughs> this is a book, hey, this is a book I did end up reading. This is Vermilion by Molly Tanzer. And this is about a person named Lou Merriweather who is a psychopomp. And she is kind of like an exorcist. Uh, and it's very like steampunky. And um, there's a lot of like Asian inspired things. And it's like this weird mix of like these Asian inspired things and like a Western and like steampunk. And it's very cool. Um, there's lots of really great imagery in this book. And um, I really, I liked it a lot. It just didn't get five stars. And um, I think part of that's because there is a, hmm, it's hard to tell you about this part without giving it away, but there ends up being just some like questionable representation about somebody. Like there's this reveal about their sexuality that's kind of like a ew instead of like I don't know I just felt that that part was maybe handled poorly and I'm not saying don't read this because of that because it was a good book and it is very possible that the author did not intend it to come off that way at all it was just questionable to me um but I really liked this it just didn't get five stars. Okay, the next book I have here is I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This was on at least two TBRs during the year. And this is like um, one of the most anticipated thrillers that I own. Like it's one that I've had for years and I'm always like, I want to read this because I've heard it's so good and just not so. But I think like my brain's messed up and it's like because I think that I might like it a lot. I don't want to read it and then not like it a lot. So I just don't read it and I need to like fix that thing that I do because I think I would really like this and there's no reason for me not to read it. But I didn't. I didn't read it this year. I don't know if I would have liked it. This one I did read. This is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Mistborn series. And this did get five stars from me. This was so, I just, I really love Brandon Sanderson's stuff. And um, I kind of put this series on pause after reading this one um, until I finish uh, the third book in the Way of King series. That is um, called Oathbreaker and I'm pretty sure I've given every book of his I've read so far. Not that there's like so many that I've read but there's been three, three that I've read and they've all gotten five stars so far. So they're very fucking good. This one is like, The Way of Kings is like very much like high fantasy like there's like kings and I don't know, lots of shit going on, like political schemings. And this one is more, um, there's lots of scheming in this, but it's more like the dirty underground of the city instead of like dealing with the royalty. And um, this is basically about a, about a heist. And it has this really strange, is it magic? I don't know if it's a, quite a magic system, but these um, people, they can, 
um, consume metals and that will help them do certain things. And it's really cool. There's all these rules for it, which I love. I don't like when my magic's just like, whoa, like I can do whatever the fuck I want. Like that's not fun. There has to be rules. So uh, yeah, I gave this one five stars. At the end of the book kind of broke my heart. And then I couldn't continue on the second one. And then when I was ready, I was like, wait, maybe I should finish this other, I don't know, I'm rambling. But this one did get five stars for me. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. I stayed up way too late last night and it was my, it was Zach's like holiday party for his work. And we went to my favorite restaurant in town and it's this like French Basque place. And I ate escargot for the first time and it was fucking delicious. It was kind of like a clam, but warm and um, less like, like it had the same texture almost, but it wasn't like as chewy. And the sauce that they put on it was like garlicky lemon sauce and it was so good. But I drank like seven whiskey sours and I don't sleep very good when I drink. And the last book I have here is Night Film by Marisha Pestle. And this is, like a thriller book and I don't know what it's about really like a night film I guess I don't know a film that you watch at night or I don't know but um I think this is one where some of the formats kind of weird yeah it's like a what do they call it a multi-format I don't feel like that's it this is one that I just didn't I don't remember ever. like I think Honestly, I kind of forgot about these five star predictions because the last like few months I haven't even thought about, oh yeah, I should read this because I think I'll like it. I don't know what's wrong with me. So there's that. I didn't read it. I really am going, I'm going to do this for 2020 because I like it. And I'm really going to try really hard to, uh, finish them next year. In fact, I'm just going to do like one a month until I finish them and then I'll be, then I'll have finished it and it will be fine. So that's what I have for you. Mm. I need to go wrap presents so I can't be falling asleep. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know, um, if like, did you like these? Have you read some of the ones that I didn't read? And can you tell me, like, did you think that they were good? Because I'd really like to know. Like, maybe I'll just read them next year just for shits and giggles, because I don't think I'm gonna put these same ones on my next five-star prediction. But, um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Happy motherfucking holidays, and I will see you guys later.